Having won the Group 1, in particular the South African uh, Classic, and having won, of course, um, the Premiers. Talented little fella, no doubt about that. Put your hands together for Muzi Yeni. I'm Muzi Yeni. I'm from, uh, born and raised in Durban, in a township called Clement. I was 15 turning 16, and I went to the South African Jockey Academy based in Shongweni. For a township boy, my grand like literally did everything she can. I could say like yeah, she drove a very successful ch chicken business. Where those days you didn't go like people wanted a live chicken in those days. So she used to stock up almost 2,000 chickens or 3,000 chickens a weekend. So a massive uh, uh, distributing almost for the whole community. So yeah, the question does come up: What made me go to the academy? My dad asked me to go and. At those times, it's like um, you, you, your parents used to tell you where you're going. You didn't have a choice, say, hey, I like this, I like that. <clears throat> so I was very against it until my grandmother obviously uh, spoke to me. They raised me up. They spoke to me, just give it a try. If you don't like it, you can always come back home, which eased me a lot. And I decided to go there. And when I got there, seeing other kids my size, my height, I didn't feel out of place. And uh, <clears throat> obviously there's a transformation period where a lot of guys of color were, in, you know, instead of one in 96 and every two years or three years later. So the integration started to, to grow, you know, which we're thankful for. <clears throat> so that's how I went about it in the academy. There was 15 of us started off. I think there was four or five of us left because they couldn't cut the grade. But anyway, Nathan Cotson, they just prepared me, they gave me the top stable. They probably recorded an aimer like a horse like couldn't lose. <laughs> so he put me on like a real, real good horse, uh, horse a senior rider would get. Obviously I'd get the weight allowance over the distance and the horse won like by five lengths. It was my 12th race ride. Glory, sparkling water, trying her utmost, but War of Athena is absolutely joking with him. War of Athena won the Volker Boss Drip, Triple Tiara and how? Just I've got a top class trainer, understands racing that uh, pace can get always beaten. He had the race planned out and uh, we had a game plan and just thanks to all the team, Smanga, Cabello, uh, Richard Racing, Sarah, he's got a great uh, team behind us. And I want to uh, say thank you to War of Athena, she's a specialist and I am privileged to be on top of her. Very well said. That's Muzi Yeni, ladies and gentlemen. So when I went to the academy, uh, obviously with the schools I'd been to, when the first multiracial schools opened up where like the only black kids, me and my sister in the class, just helped me a lot when I got to the academy, uh, learned to speak uh, well. Uh, I didn't have a, a, a short of understanding the chores, what I had to do. Though I was tinier than all of them, I was on my feet, I was up and running quickly. He put in a lot of extra work, whether he's riding here or in Durban or in Port Elizabeth, um, riding work in the morning. Check it. It's right. Don't take it off. No. Sorry. As a jockey, when you put a jockey on, you want the best results that the horse can give you on the pitch. So uh, I study his form quite hard. I try to figure out where, how, when it's performed well, where does it like to race? Is it the front runner? Does it come from the back? He's always up there in the leaderboard um, if he's not number one. And I look forward to one day hosting an Equus Awards where I get to hand over the trophy of uh, champion jockey of the season to him. And I don't think we're too far away from that at all. Um, I'm very proud to have him on my horses and he's, he's done very well for me. So, um, Muzi, I think he's a star. Wash and Maine, I'm a renowned South African champion jockey. I've ridden all over the world. Myself and Muzi has done a lot of battles. He's an up and coming jockey, dedicated, one to watch for the future. This boy's got talent. Give him the chances, he will get there to the top. My career wins are 2,250. Um, really looking forward to the, obviously, I think uh, 2,500 is close, but obviously the next big milestone for my career will be 3,000. <laughs> What's the other one? 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 What's the other
Ma perché non la fa più? C'è di tutto! 100 metri out, 2, 3 lanes in front, battle lines drawn, is there another cherry this summer? War of Athena won it, second to Netta, third went to Magical Flight and then came Sparkling Water. Brilliant from Paul Matchett and his team, of course Sarah involved that side as well. The man on my right, your left, Muzi Yeni. Muz, huge congratulations, I know it's an emotional moment for you because she's a filly that's grown onto you over the last few months and even you. Uh, great to have your daughter and everybody supporting you and just how easy was that? Yeah, she's high class and I uh, actually felt like I needed the pace to go faster and it felt like I needed something to pull me through. I've said it before live on air that he's one of my favorite jockeys. Uh, I call him Mr. Catch Me If You Can uh, and I, I coined that particular nickname for him when he won and blew us all away here at Turpentine Racecourse aboard Royal Victory at the Betway Summer Cup 2023. Royal Victory's coming on strongly in the closing stages and Royal Victory's burst through! Royal Victory wins the Betway Summer Cup from Safe Passage. Bless my stars, use was behind that! But everything is a stepping stone and obviously the last race was important to me, uh, the Summer Cup. The prestige, the magnitude, uh, the prize money involved. And I won it for a special family friend who took me in in the academy, Nathan Cotson. It's not the first time that the Cotsons, well, Natey Cotson in this regard, has come to Johannesburg and taken them on. Mr. Victor, Mr. Vissa, Natasha Sturdy, Muzi Yeni, Natey Cotson, bred by Dr. Thompson, the Ambient Stud. It's nice few years later I could return the favour and win him one of the most prestigious prize money races in the country. Absolutely. Well, I need to call on the champion jockey himself, Muzi Yeni. Mr. Cash Me If You Can. Muzi can go higher places given the opportunities uh, with various stables to ride their horses as well. He's the best lightweight jockey in the country at the moment. The championships unfold quite nicely on the 2nd of March, it's the classics, that's the classic day. Then you, of course you have the uh, Champions Day, that being on the 6th of April, and it culminates on the 4th leg being the 27th of uh, April, and that is the championship finale. Another day um, that we see a lot of fantastic racing here, and I, I have a feeling that Muzi is going to make his mark on this particular series. And here's some of the bigger features coming up, you know, we've got Champions Day, we've got Classics Day. Um, Obviously with the juveniles, it's always exciting to have a few of them showcasing in the nursery. Obviously uh, there's some major races, the boxes I want to tick off. Your Durban Julys, your Cape Met, your Queen's Plate. Uh, still a lot of boxes to tick, but I've uh, been fortunate enough with a lot of majors around the country, especially in the Eiffelt. But to my team, you know, taught me to ride and they were so nervous and I, I was like, you taught me all my life to ride, so I can't be nervous, I've got to keep it calm. And at every part of the furlong I went, it was me and the horse and I wanted to make sure I hit the line running hard and everything just went so smooth, thank God.